Welcome, everybody, to Down and Dirty with the Badger State Tractor Pullers. Uh, I got Greg Elsing with me tonight, president of the Badger State Tractor Pullers, John Meyer Jr. Um, the Meyer family has been featured a lot the last six weeks. Uh, Greg, how long ago did we do? We did uh, Dave and Brandy, and then we did Dan and Kathy, right? The last couple weeks before Louisville, right. if I remember correctly. Yep, we, we snuck a couple guys in between, uh, you know, each week. Uh, and then we had Louisville in there one week, right, I think? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds yep. right. But it's been good. Cool. Well, welcome, Evolving. everybody. Um, for all of you farmers that wanted to get in the field, it sounds like there's three inches of snow coming this Thursday. So that's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, John. I know both of you guys farm. I'm yeah. a mortgage lender. I just need rates to go down, guys. That's all I'm asking for. So I'm yeah. asking for We're farmers. We need the rates to go down, too. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so I don't feel bad asking for that, then. It's all good. So Right. Right. We got Strand Man coming on here. Uh -huh. So. So what we do so what we every do, Monday night every, at 7 o'clock Central Time, we talk Badger State Truck and Tractor Pulling, and our goal every week is to have, you know, a puller or a promoter or a, or a sponsor with us on here. Um, a couple weeks ago, Greg went down, and you were with um, you were with Dick Ruff, right, Greg? Yep, yep. He recorded. John, John, do you feel, did they do a good job interviewing you, or, or what, next time would you like somebody better? Do you have any comments on that, Junior? Oh, no, it went good. We had a good time, so okay. have you. Good afternoon. Because we kind of set the B team down there. You know what I mean? So next right. time I can get Stranley down there if I need to. Okay. No, no, it went good. Went good. Good deal. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do, fans, <clears throat> we got about a 40-minute um, interview taped. So we're going to play for you. Um, if you have questions along the way, please throw them up into the comments. And then um, John, Greg and John and uh, Stacy and I, not Stacy, I'm sorry. Greg, John, John, and Jason will do a little bit of Q&A &A after we play the video. So, Greg, what do you, real quick, What's the Meyer family mean to the Badger State Tractor Pullers? Or Strand Man, you can jump in on this too. That's one of those names, guys. It's pretty synonymous with Badger State Tractor Pulling. Right. This is, this, I think it, they're part of the heart of the club, you know, and, and always there when we need them and, and always have their equipment at top notch and running. And, uh, you know, it's it's fun to watch families like that succeed and, and do well, especially with, uh, like, the kids coming on, Dan and Kathy's kids coming on now. And, and just it, it's fun to watch all that. I, I, I enjoy that. How about you, John? Strangely. I, I I say the same thing. Family is the big thing, and, and the Meyer family is a great family. It's great to see all of them there, and they all, they all enjoy pulling Badger State, and there's a group helping one another and helping other pullers. It's uh it's fun. Yeah, as a fellow puller, Junior, you beat my butt up in Hot Farm a bunch, so I went four one. I got away from you for a couple of years, and the next thing I heard, you're coming four one. So. Now, now you got to come get a diesel super stud if you want to whoop up on me like you used to. So no, no, I'm pretty happy where I'm at right now. So <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think I was too. So we'll, we'll see. Yep. We'll see. I'm gonna let my dad drive though. He's a better driver than I am. So without further ado, John Meyer Jr. His beautiful wife Amy. Speaking of your wife Amy, how did you get her? She's a babe. Like, oh, I, a lot of yep. money. Are you smart? Can you give me some insight on that? So Not, <laughs> I don't know. Met her at a tractor pull. Got lucky, I guess. I guess. So well, she's a tractor puller's daughter, as David Baker is your father-in-law. For those of people who don't know that, David Baker is Amy's dad. So that's some good uh good knowledge there. So without further ado, Greg Strandman, you okay if I start the video up? Yep, go ahead. And then we'll get some popcorn. We'll watch a great interview with Dick Ruff, Greg, and then John and Amy. And then at the end, we'll do a little question and answer and uh we'll get going. So Again, thanks for coming on tonight, John. Thanks for joining us every Monday night. And uh, here we go. I just got to find my video. And we'll be on our way. I'll take our ugly faces off the screen, guys. Don't worry. Come on, baby. Play. You can do it.
you know, had it done much that year. So coaching staff give them a time. Josh Steiner's watching. Kevin Lindstrom's watching. No sound on the video. Yeah, you guys start talking for a little bit. Let me just start talking to John. Let me figure this out. I'm sorry. John, take over. So, Mr. Meyer, how many years have you been pulling? Oh, I pulled, I don't know, 14, so I'm 40. So, what is that? 20, 26 years. Yeah, and you're the youngest of the three boys, correct? Yep, yep. Mike. Mike's the oldest. Mike's the oldest, and Dan's the middle. So. Dan and then you. So, Dad got you guys into this whole mess of fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. Got us in this expensive hobby, but it's all been good. So, it was nice to see you guys did the interview by Dad's tractor. That thing is the cornerstone of you guys. And yep, yep. That's where it all started. So, I figured it worked out good. So, so I, I take it we, I wasn't the only one that was trying to get the sound on. <laughs> no, I was too. <laughs> I got I got a marker and a piece of paper. I was gonna write no sound, and hopefully Jason would have seen it because I didn't want to mess my phone up for the show. Well, I didn't mean kind of pull one in comments, but yeah, nope. Yeah. So I missed what you asked. You know, I and uh, I, I heard you've been pulling twenty seven years, John. John, is what you're yep. saying. Yep. So that's a long time. Too old are you? Forty. Forty. So that's a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Pulled an A56 non turbo 100 horse first tracker at Dakota. So I think it was actually before the Badger State show when you guys used to be down there. So back in the day. So didn't, didn't they, didn't you say at our interview thing you drove it all the way down there? Yeah, we drove it. We were about, you know, a half hour from Dakota. So take about an hour with the tractor. So well, that ain't too bad. Sounds like a long distance from here, but yeah. bad. bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so how'd you do the first time out? Actually, one got lucky, I guess. So yeah. Yeah. Then you were hooked, right? Yeah, that, that was hooked me. I run low four, and it was about seven miles an hour. But <laughs> yeah, but it was fun. Then yeah. I pulled you in home, but you had to find a turbo for that 856 then, right? No, I, I pulled it again the next year. Then when I turned 16, Dad finally let me drive his. So then after that, I never drove non-turbo tractors. That was all over then, right? Yep. Yep. Is that your plan for your daughter and son? Yeah, I'd like to, you know, get them into something there when they turn 16. So, yep. Yeah. It'll be a 4 1, but we'll see where they're at. So, it's, it's fun watching your kids do well and then see it. I'm sure your mom thinks it feels the same way. Yep. Yep. I think she's pretty proud of us all. So, yep. Yep. I don't know if Jason's got the picture up there now because he's got it working. Jason's muted now. Can you guys hear me okay? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, I'm a schmuck, which which is normal. You guys are aware of this. So it's not like I'm embarrassing myself. Um, I'm going to hit play on the video. I need everybody watching to let me know if you can hear the sound from the video recording. And again, I apologize. Um, I ran down to the office in a hurry and well, I don't have any, I don't have any good excuses. So hold on. Let, so tell me if you guys can hear this. Now it'll probably buffer, of course. Technology is awesome when it works. Okay. And for those of you watching at home, let me know if you can hear the interview. Yep. Good to go. He's a super nice guy. Yep. Yep. We'll get next week. Yep. That's right. That's what today's model. He's, he's one of the guys that always comes up and thanks everybody for what they do. And that means that goes a long way with all the technology. Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm going to get rid of our faces. I'm sorry, guys. Back to the interview. Okay. Yep. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. We both see that. Um, you know, I'm like, what would you drop? And he's like, and he tells me, and I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, hey, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna drive what I got, and I'm gonna pull where I got, and then give it the best shot I have. So yep. that's it. Yeah, yep. absolutely. That's it. Your tractor's not painted yet. His hasn't been painted in a long time. Too. No. That's what it's been on it, so. no. <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna paint it, and I'm not sure what color I want to paint it. I want to paint it original, or I keep I keep changing stuff, so. Maybe one of these days we'll get a picture. Yeah. Probably not. No. <laughs> no Something else always comes in front of the budget, you know. <laughs> and I like it the way that I do. Yeah. And we've had the paint since we built it in 2014. Yeah. It's been at the paint shop. Yeah. 
and it was always going to originally get painted, and then we always have something else to do. Yeah. So. What do you what do you put on her name? Any name? That's just my performance R and D now. Yeah. That's all okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, we had nicknames. There was a 10 man originally because she has no heart. Yeah. <laughs> so we took all kinds of business that first year we had her. No heart. No. 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 None. No. Okay. It was bad. For anybody who don't know, John tried to pour one uh, Myers R and D and it's uh, an unpainted. I guess it's 1206. Yeah, 1206. And uh, super good runner, too. So uh, John does, uh, I think he does 90% of the work himself. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, everything but the machine works. So. Put all the motors together. John yeah, also does a lot of motors for a lot of the guys in the, in the hot farm class. He's got a couple four one tractors he works on and uh, does a super good job. He's, he's got himself a real good, good reputation name out there for the type of work he does. Yeah, yeah we were talking about that too. Uh, we were coming home from the banquet one year and you know we talked about building a tractor. And, you know, like, you know, how, how are we going to fund this thing? You know, so, but, you know, I, I did a little work, for, you know, dad was, was fortunate enough that he always let me kind of do what I wanted to the tractor, and, you know, that really helped a long way. So we decided to start a business, and, you know, first year was kind of slow going, you know, build the tractor. Did pretty well the first year with it, so that really helped. Yeah. You that was work. a hungover day from the bank, yeah. and we decided to do that. And I'm like, that was probably not the way. Sure, you're still wearing on? Yeah, well, it could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Could have been. It's a bad idea sometimes. Sometimes right. you do. We're like, this sounds like a perfect idea. Right. But you were working for Rick Austin before that. Yep, I worked for Rick for uh, ten or eleven years there. So yep. you know, so I helped him farm and was kind of doing the my reform thing inside there. So. And Carter Groom on before that. Right? Yeah, we're the yeah. case dealer and Judah there. So. I know. Met your dad kind of, I don't know, let the cat out of the bag one day. Your dad and I were talking. I think it was one of the sales of Johnson Tractor at Austin on all day. We got talking about the our tractors and the, the cylinder heads and stuff. And your dad goes on and said, You know, our tractor actually runs a little better if the head that the, the junior built. See, the cylinder head this time. And actually runs a little better this time than another cylinder head. Yeah, and he was pretty proud, man. He yes. and from then on, I was well, thank you. We worked with similar heads, and it worked really great. And, yeah. and uh, I know it's just you keep, keep trying things and doing things, and, and you know, so your tractor runs great, Express runs good, the double X, all run super good. Yeah, both double X at one point. Yep, yep, he's had two out of the last three, so yeah. Yeah. you know, Mike Luke for always, and he's got a couple in there, yeah. so we've been pretty yeah. fortunate. My guys, all the you built, yep, yep. it all yourself. I'll pour it all myself. Or, uh, so it's uh, not a fun job. <laughs> yep. You know, all that stuff. Yep. 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 So um, you know, Deb, I talked to him one year. I'm like, I come to Port ahead and let's let me do it, and we'll take it to the dyno. And ended up working out. Went to Portugal, Golf. Won two classes with it. So two classes. Yeah. 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 They're pretty proud of that day. He said that we talked to our doctor, and he said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we just kind of went off an old head we had and changed a few things and ended up working out. So, still kind of do it the same way as I did back then. So. Yeah. What do you yeah, know? always let you try different things. Yeah. He's always so proud of all of you yeah. boys. Yeah. You just, and he always let you all try things. Yeah. 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 Uh, Gordy, you guys used to pretty much dominate down there, and I think they had to change the rules because the band came back and been down there in the hot front class, and then he let the other guys run a bigger cube and a bigger turbo now. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had pretty fortunate luck down there. We were a bit real good, so um, yeah, won a lot of finals. So uh, yep, my customers have been real good. You know, well, that's a good thing being a horsepower track down there, and you know how to get the horsepower. Out of it. Yeah, yeah, we've, we've, we've done well. You know, we got to uh, credit a lot to Kevin and the kid Dino. So, talk to Kevin a lot. We work together some, and he really helps me. So, you know, get him tuned in before we go anywhere. So. Good advice. You want to, I sent my boys down there last time, and he helped them out. Like, did, did you probably do better than the bottom there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, Kevin's yeah. a good guy. So, um, yeah, like, I called Kevin, I said, hey, I'm trusting with the boys. I don't have time to come down and lead them to that direction. He will. Yeah. Always he will. Yeah. He is super. Super good guy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what other, what do you do, Amy, or do you just? Um, I I do um, human resources at a dairy farm, okay. and I've been there for like 14 years, and then I do our books. 
for my performance and um, you do a little farm uh, farming when I do those. And I took care of our two little monsters. Yep, um, and their so names are in ages. ages. Uh, Layla is three yep. and Jack is one. Okay. Jack doesn't look anything like Junior. No, <laughs> no, no, he has a yeah. nickname Jack the Destroyer because he destroys everything. <laughs> Yeah. So we, uh, I love the name Jack originally, and I thought you didn't really want to go with Jack, like John the Third, but right. Jack is a nickname for John, and so yeah. um, in memory of John Senior and yeah. John Junior. But I, I love that. And did not initially. Yeah, I didn't know that. Was it? So, that was about the last day no, I believe he was born. Yeah. The day he was born, I jumped on board. I jumped on board with that. So. Well, it's weird being in the living room or after you haven't named kid yet. Right. Like, what? Yeah, so I'm looking through a book. Yeah, right. She's on me all the time. Gotta pick a name. Gotta pick a name. Like, like you know, it'll come once yeah. we get there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. gotta see them first. Yep. yep. And yeah. we had five names on the board, and I was surprised that. And we, I really like Henry too, but I couldn't. Add, and we had there's Henry Coons, and we pulled it. We or you know we pulled Coons, and yeah. so I'm like, I don't know. I just, and and we're friends with them. So it's not yeah. like best friends, but we're friends with them, and it's just. And his dad is John, and so, yeah. Um, yeah. but I just love Jack from the beginning. Yep. So. I, I think the, the Hank part, I feel like the Hank part, like, I, yeah. asked, I asked John Jr. earlier, I said, where, where did Hank come from? And his mom said, she named me Hank. Yeah. She did. And that's yeah. kind of stuck for yeah. a long time. Yeah. So sometimes you hear him come with her, she just saying Hank. That's her nickname. Hank yeah. is John Jr. Yeah. Or yeah. Junior. Yeah. Yeah. And when Layla can't get her daddy's attention and she says, Daddy, Daddy, um, and he doesn't answer, she calls him Hank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, uh, going back to your factor, uh, the last few years, what was your favorite poll? Uh, favorite poll? Um, Anyone won? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I, 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 I would hear something right now. Right? Yeah. I'm just saying. Well, I don't know. Millsville is always treating me pretty good. Um, Jefferson's been pretty good. So. Freeport. For, yeah, free Freeport's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You pull into me like pulling up there. Yeah, I do. I enjoy it. You know what? The atmosphere is good. You know, big yeah. crowd. You know, good bar, big pull. So. Yeah. yeah. I think this year you'll be. In, I think that went four ones in the host pro two. So. Yeah, I heard that. So yeah, I, I, I enjoy going there. I've only done well once there, but. Yeah. I still like going. Still like going. And it's a great track, but uh, we haven't really done well. Maybe this year we'll be. Maybe. 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 Yeah, maybe. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. That's what always keeps us going. But this year we're going to do better there. Everybody thinks we're going to do better. Just like I said earlier, it's, it's, it's a challenge of doing better, too. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. What can I do to better that track? The beach is first, you know? Yeah. You know, certain tracks just. Your tracker lights, you know, it's like Miller's Oil Jefferson. I, you know, I've got a lot of top threes there. I don't know why. I, I don't want to accept that. The, and they're totally, 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 different, totally different tracks. Yes, yeah, yeah, totally. You know, they are. Yeah, they're different sweats. Yeah. No, 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 man, I, I, you know, maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. So, yeah. 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 Do you feel that way too? I mean, when you guys go, like, when there's places that your tractor just likes or you do no. want to. And then there's places you're like, oh gosh, I'm gonna get like nearly, but the top half on the are really good, but like you terribly are. And then, yeah, mine is more, more, more is where I just somehow do the thing. Yeah. And you see that a lot where a tractor wins year after year too, because they took tractor, like yeah. said, just that place, right? And, and the driver's got to figure out they a little better than the next guy, and it, it, it works. Yeah. You know, and is that, that in confidence too? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like, I do good here. You know, like, I don't know. I'm not in confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. some people might be up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 90% of the time, you know, you, you kind of keep an eye on where the line is every year. You usually go back to that. Right. And I don't know how it does that, but. Yeah. You know, Darlington used to have a line that you shoot down the side, yeah. and now it's not, to me it seems like you stay up a little. Yeah, yeah, you stay a little more middle. Yeah, because it used to be down low. Get too soft, bottom side. Yeah, you know, it's like. Certainly wasn't rain this year, was it? Or did you guys get more rain than we did? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it just, yeah. It is what it is, but it's but it just, used to be lower. Yeah. Well, you know, start high and come down cross. Sure. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. typical racetrack. You know, yeah. start yeah. high. And it could it could be too where they move the starting line because it was a track on part of the two. Oh. So. But, uh, that's right. Yeah. Well, the problem always I always heard was that there's kind of a hole in the drag there. That's where Mark parked his water truck and stopped at the beer tank. <laughs> <laughs> More than one year in a row. Yeah. <laughs> we'll wait, Mark, for that. Yeah. So this this your first year to Toledo, was it? Yeah, first year. Got excited here? Yeah, pretty excited. You know, kind of freshening things up right now. So. Well, I wouldn't change a whole I know, I know, but you know how it is. You don't stay on the maintenance program at half. Like, so either do it now or later. So, yeah. figure it out. Done. Yep, yeah. exactly. That's all. I mean, you run super good down the strip right now. It looks like you got a couple guys to catch up to here. So, we got your buddy Dutton. And yeah, 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 Josh. Uh, I'm know, really happy for Josh. He gets trouble a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. tell you. We work with Adam too. Work with Adam too. Yeah, he was in there too, and I was really yeah. happy to see him get in there. And yep. Get yep, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. They're both great guys. Yep, yeah. yeah. Very fortunate they yeah. give me a chance, chance to help them out. So I think when I go down there and show them, I have to stay on night there to get all them guys in there. Adam's down, goes down by yeah. yeah, there's yeah, there's a handful of guys down there. So yeah, you have to figure that one out. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Louisville, I, you know, I've been second it was three years in a row. I had light pro, got second, and then limited pro, I got second two years in a row. You know, it was yeah. when they only took the first place guys. And, yeah, yeah. So. We were cool. surprised. Surprised they took three. Then this year I got third, and I'm like, oh, they ain't going to get in again. Yeah. Well, it was neat to take three. I mean, yeah, I'm glad they did. And I think everybody, personally, I think if you're in there, everybody should just apply. Yeah. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Right. Just don't say, I didn't get third. Yeah. I like it that they take the top guys. That's how it yes. should be. Yes. That's how it should be. But then take the top two everywhere or the top three. The thing is, we have 18 trackers, I think, on the pro. Yeah. You know, so to just take top two of 18 in this club or take the top two of six yes. in this club. Right. You know, that's a. Yeah. I, I think you have to take that into consideration. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and it isn't like we have 18 clubs. We have 18 guys that can win in any yeah. night. Yeah. I mean, they're, you don't walk away when anybody's, if you're in the lead and there's two guys left, you, you never walk away because anybody in that club, in that class, in Badger State, yeah. in the, at any time. Yeah. So when one of the competitors one time was in the lead and, and the boys' tractor was the last tractor, <laughs> and he, he was standing in front of one of the boys and he said, ah, it's only all things, we don't have to worry. We didn't win. 
But that lit a fire under their butts. Yeah. And they did. They said, we're going to take this a little more seriously. Yeah. I'm glad that happened. It was kind of a wrong thing that I got to say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it yeah. lit a fire under their butts to say, we have to not come here and open the cooler and help you sit here and drink beer. Right. Check the air tires. Yeah. 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 If you want to run for points, it takes a lot of time. It just, you got to be on it. Commitment. Yeah. It is. It is. It it's, is. A, it's a job. It, it is. And it isn't always about spending money. No, it's not. No. It's just about getting stuff right. Yeah. 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 You know, tires are a big game anymore. Yeah. yeah. But we all have the same ones. Exactly. 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 Yeah. So, yeah. But pay attention to that track. Watch it. If you're yeah. middle of the class or business class, you're going to lose a lot of that track. I think that, I means, think so. that means more than anything. Yeah. Else. No, no. And yeah. Pick, pick the right gear. It's, in the right spot in the track is just important because you could be hundred yeah. horsepower less and you might still get end up in the top because you get to watch other guys and know where they you know where they went and where the yeah. supply is. If you have average horsepower and you're in your game and somebody who has high horsepower is on their game, you can still win that ball. Oh, you know? Like I said, like you know, if I, I'm not sure if I have enough if some of these guys coming, but I'm gonna drive what I brought. Yeah. Because I can wish all I wanted that I had some right. something that somebody else had, but this is what okay. I got to bring to the table. And I'm gonna be like, I'm like, I always tell things, I'm like, get after it. Yeah, I tell the boys when they go to the night, I say, just you don't have to buy anything else. Let's just make what we have the best yeah. as can be, right. and that's what it is. I mean, yeah. you know, you know, sometimes, boy, you should try this turbo, try this pump, but yeah. you spend 80 down there and then not end up with anything exactly. else. Exactly. Do what you have, you know, if a new turbo comes out, yeah. everybody knows yeah. It. Yeah. it is what you need, yeah. you know. and, and Thank God we don't come out every other week like we used to. No, 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 no. Yeah. You know, the dino's good. You know, it's nice to just tune them in and you know you're good when you go to the hole. Yep. One less thing you got to worry about. Yeah. Yep. yep. And with the computers now, you just monitor it yep. and just say, hey, my temperature's starting to go up, so something's changing. Yes. You know, right. you know my water rate, right? Or something. Yeah, or they could be going down. Yep. Whatever. Yep. There's something changing. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. If you don't pay attention to that, you know, then you can go to the dino and do whatever you want to do. but. If you don't pay attention to that after the fall or know where your weights were or your tire pressure, then you you can have it. Right. That was just a really, really good starting point. Yep. Yeah. But yeah. you gotta make sense. Yeah. Yep. And you're gonna keep an eye on what's going on and you know. That's good. Yeah. So back to the question, Freeport ended up being your favorite pole then? Yeah, Freeport, you know, um, yeah, I would say so. You know, I've done really well though. So yeah. Amy? I always like going to Freeport, but I like Milledgeville a lot. That's hometown. Oh, yeah, 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 five yeah. miles from there. So there. when Hank does go to Milledgeville, I really enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's my husband, I, Hank. Yeah. 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 yeah, I don't see a lot of people from home anymore, but you know, actually, Ben been to Milledgeville and I'm a fellow, and I didn't know him growing up really, but I think he would have been in about the same class or something of that nature. Um, so that's clearly his hometown. He was part of that track. He's an excellent yeah. job. Gosh, yeah. I mean, pretty good. Such a good job here. He's a swell guy too. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, very friendly. And yeah. all of their crew are fantastic. So I really like going there. Um, and we, we always enjoy going to Jefferson as well. Yeah. Um, Hillsboro. And we, because we've been before, and we yeah. loved going there. And then, yeah. um, of course, Ship Shawano. Um, and the old Louisville was always a good thing. So, and we are going to look forward to it. Yeah, hopefully. I think it'll be, yeah, hopefully, Louisville likes our cracker. Right. Yeah. Open your tractor like Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, like we talked about, one of those places that your tractor likes. Hopefully, hopefully our tractor. Right. So Ben is telling me in the pits in Milledgeville, it's all down the the racetrack's long. Yeah. It's all to be pit parking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, I was working on Ben's tractor today, and actually swung in there. Yeah. It was different. So they took all the fence out. Oh, don't get it. Yep. Yeah. We'll do that the back before. This fall, late, or, you know, yeah. October, November. Yeah. That's good. Right? I love to see you guys when they're trying to make stuff better. Now, they don't have to worry about the track as much because they used to have horse races on there. Yeah. And one yeah. you couldn't create it off right. or something. And now they should be able to do whatever they want. Yeah. Obviously, right. there's no horse track. Right. right. But it's a good track. Either oh, way, for sure. You can do something with it yeah. if you want to. Yeah. Exactly. So that's always on a Wednesday night, and they say that's the, their money night. It is, which is yeah. so much, you know, that they have on a Wednesday and it's their money night, but it works for them, and they always pack the stands there. Yeah. Always. They really, really do. Oh, you know what? All of, I would talk to all the fairs. I say, if you start something, I'm not saying it's going to make money in the first year, but you got to build it and don't jump around and change stuff. Yeah. yeah. You can't jump on and off. You have to, it's going to take five years to get yeah. to what you want, you know. Yeah, and I think they do a bond pull during the day there, and then they have yeah. us at night, and then 
We can do it now. Yeah. Stop pulling and everything. Yep. And they've got good support between Fredericks and Ben and, and yep. Boston Hook. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, they have a farm show at Tucker did. Everybody had semis, you know, probably 10, 12 years ago. We we're the only flatbeds there. Yeah, my dad, my dad went down and helped and, and Hank and I took his old man's tractor. So before we had ours. And we pulled in, and I'm like, we are the only people without a piece of my trailer here. And we got out, and I said, you boys, we're beyond your age. And so we look like we're out of our league. Yeah, which we were. We won. Yeah, yeah, we, did. we won. We yeah. won. So then they, they pulled Hank up, and he was like, what do And they talked to him, and he's like, well, where should I pull you back to? And he's like, well, I'm kind of in the middle over there. And he's trying to explain it. And the other guy wasn't quite sure. He goes, and Hank's like, we're the two goosenecks, and the guy's like, I know where you're at. <laughs> We're the only two goose there, so that's pretty great. That's something else that's really, really changed over the years for all of us, unfortunately. Everybody's yeah. just crazy. But, you know, it, it, it's nice because we don't have to get that tractor on the order or get it in the shed or just stay in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple days to work on it. If you're going to work on it, maybe get a yeah. pull a few days later just leave it in there. Yeah. 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 how mad you are at her. Right. She behaved or not, you might look at her again. If she didn't, well, you're not sure. <laughs> Well, you know, it used to be you had the knowledge with the fancy hauler, you know, with yeah. the fancy hauler. Now you talk to some of these guys, and they say, I heard one guy tell another guy in Louisville last year, he, he said, I got a new plane. Your plane will fit in the cup holder of my plane. Oh, oh, so oh, we're being saved. Yeah. So oh, now we're going to stop the game. Oh, I don't think we're ready for that. Neither am I. No. 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 Yeah, it is, it is completely different. I remember when I would go with my dad and I was Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Those guys do pretty well. So. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, I do. I do. You know, the diesel super thing, that's pretty impressive. Well, Schultz bought a diesel super. Yeah. He might need a driver. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was driving the gondola last night, and I didn't realize I was a grand fire that was very busy. And Schultz about the driver. And I said, well, Schultz is a driver. It was a driver. Oh, his daddy. That's right here. Yeah, yeah. I trust him. Yeah. Jason, I know you're going to be watching this, so we all have our doubts. Yeah. 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 No, he'll be good. He'll, he'll be, be good. Fine. He'll be fine. Yeah. Are you sure? You don't know the same show time. I'm fine with her. But if he needs a driver, maybe he'll try it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine, yeah. He'll be a learning curve. Yeah. He'll be. Yeah. Just like every class, though, that you transition to, it's always a learning curve. It, it really is. Like when we went top farm and then we did light pro and then we went limited pro, it's just always. It don't seem like that big a step when you just jump on it. No. 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 There's actually a little bit of a learning curve in every different trip. Yeah, true. And you don't drive it the same necessarily. Yeah, right. And the sled might be different too. Or That's right. You, you see a sled that's going to start to you. you got to figure out how you're going to bring the sled out of the hole. And yep. You want to start hard, hard, you know. How hard you've been to hammer, you better go or what, you know. Oh, yeah. There's learning curves every every school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've never been on that for for hang. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I, I've had that conversation. What are you doing out there? Like, get after it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, that's harder to see than everybody. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know, because it blow tires out pretty quick. Yeah. 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 That's your class right here. Yeah. 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 Yep, you get it. And then you get, you know, you get different tires, you have to drive them because yeah. shoot. Yes. Yeah. People don't realize that. Yeah. So it's a uh, whole thing of learning for and, and I don't care, like, what are you, 20 years, 25 years, probably? Uh, yeah, 20, yeah. 14, like, of course. Yeah, well, yeah, 40, so. Yeah. 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 Learning curve every year. Yep. And, uh, you pulled into fun classes before that, didn't you? Yeah. Actually, pulled eight fifty six first time for how long? Uh, two years. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't quite. That nah, wasn't you got quite enough for me. Then that let me. I turned sixteen. Then we drove this here, you know. But you know, the six seven hundred work back in the day. But, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was big. Yep, it was. It was. It was, it was you know, super farm. I mentioned when the first came out. Well, I don't think we make it for this. You know, yeah. But you know, like you had everything. Yeah, you know, we had a rotor pump on it, two and a half inch turbo. Yeah. Thought we had some. I think because I remember like junior high, like went to a lot of polls with that with my dad. And was, yep. you know, that's, I, those are fun classes. I thought a class was my favorite class to watch because you don't know yep. no idea. anybody. That's a real, the, yeah, you never know who's, who's going to do it. Yep, no, no, everybody's very good in that class. That's a lot of classes going anymore. Anymore, it does. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know who's going to win the polling. Yeah, it seems like the last 10 years, the, the competitiveness is really... Everybody's set their game up. Why did COVID really? You know, everybody had a year to stop. All the manufacturing of turbos and pumps had a year to finally sit back and, and they had all had ideas of what they wanted to change in the turbo or the fuel pump. Rather than maintaining it, they stopped and get it back out the door. They had time to update and change stuff. Yeah, yeah. they had time to idea. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, that, and that cost us a lot of money. Yeah. Actually, you're right, it did. It did. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Oh, yeah, they did. So, you know, well, yeah, not only drag your farm, but the country. Yeah. 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 That's what yeah. I meant. <laughs> you know, Greg, you were talking about your super farm, what it cost to build, you know, heating my crankshaft now. Right, yeah. yeah. The yeah. first, yeah, fuel pump. Is twice what yeah. that I built my first super farm. Yeah. Bought and cooked and everything on it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and I thought I spent stupid money then. Yeah. Yeah. You know, How smart do you feel now? <laughs> really stupid. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah, yeah. If we wouldn't do this, we wouldn't be here doing this. Well, no. and I said, I'm like, gosh, that's why it's super expensive. But what would we do with our time? You know, and realistically, it is a entire family summer. Yeah, with right. with yes, our Meyer family and yeah. my parents go truck to pony and, and my family as well, but like um the whole Bechstein community is really a family affair. Like everybody is pretty good. I mean they're really great. You have the time you spend working together. You don't see a lot of people actually <laughs> after pulling season till the next summer and how things have been going and you catch up just like you did the city. It's right. really great. 
but everything is expensive. I have a brother that has three fishing boats. Yeah, same. Goes hunting trips, yeah. goes on golf trips. You know, I, I, and he tells me, I'm good. I said, all right, tell me how much you spend. Add it up. Add it up yeah. what you're doing. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, and where you're going, what you're doing. Yeah. You, know, you yeah. tell me. Yeah. What have you got so far? You can watch yeah. my track. I'm proud of that. Yeah. <laughs> He's not proud of his golf swing, and he didn't catch a big enough fish. Yeah. 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 You know, so. Yeah, no, it's, it is a really great community to start going to. Well, and Badger State in general. Badger State in general, yeah. yes. Yeah. Because there are other clubs um, that they're all good, right? There's all good eggs everywhere. Yeah. But, but I mean, overall, Badger State, I mean, they have. Uh, above on that. Yeah, we, we get a lot of compliments and people that say, man, I wish I lived closer to you guys. Like, I'd love to pull with you guys. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny, you're mad and I say, yeah. it's the same with a lot of spectator follows close yes. there every week. It's about the same week, yeah. week after week after yeah. week. And, and, and they know everybody and, and they like to mingle with everybody. And, yeah, we've met some people that they just, they, they follow the Badger State and they come up and see us pretty much every week. You know, each time that they're there, which yep. is quite often, I bet they make over half, well over half, almost all the goals. And yeah. they just have a great time. Well, it's you know, great. they actually yeah. start to become part of your crew. They do. It really they do. do. They come out and, and I, yeah. And they're nice people and, you know, it, I mean, it, I think yeah. everybody just in the Badger State community is just kind of just down to earth. I think that yeah. is. That is. Um, so helps. And honestly, if you're, if you've been a troublemaker, I hate to say it, people will talk to you. Right. And who wants to go somewhere that nobody can talk to? Right. No, no. But we don't have that. No. We don't. No. I mean, we don't. No. And, and we, we enforce rules more than most clubs do, I think. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, like the tire rule. We were the only ones that had tires up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It, it only takes once or twice for somebody, whether they knew what they had or they accidentally made a mistake and had, let's say, too big of a tire or, <laughs> or something was different on their turbo or something like that. It only takes one of them. Get caught if you make everybody, you know, it's some growling, growling, but they all show work. Uh, yeah, that's the rules. Let's stick to it. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, that's what the right. rules for. Yeah. And every competitor gets to say what the rules are. Yeah. yeah, we do. And we have a break on meetings, and we all sometimes then they go to the board. And if the board says no, I don't think they need that, you know, because we, I don't get to vote, you know, I get to say what I think, mm -hmm. but I don't get to vote unless it's a tie. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. I don't get to vote in anything. Yeah, we can't You'll be no saying nothing. Nope. Nope. Sorry. Nope. We got one troublemaker. That's this guy here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but when something's wrong, I'll take the trouble, blame for it, and uh, then we'll, we'll make it right. You know, I'm not out right. How many years did the president be? 20, 20 president that on the board for 32 years. Wow. 30, 30, 30. Well, you've done a lot for the club. Yep. I mean, right. I've seen it even just grow in the last 10 years. I remember we had it at the, was it the not the wilderness, the old cafe. Chula Vista? Like, no, no, it was the winter, winter green. green. Yeah. I remember going, the first years I went to the banquet was with the winter green yeah. or whatever. And I mean, our club from that size to where it is now is just unbelievable. And I think there's 100 people there about. Yeah. I would guess. Now we're 450, 475 yeah. usually. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that amazing? It and is. that was in, what, like 10, 15? We were both profile, probably, yeah, yeah. mid 2000. Yeah. Uh, so, in the points fund, uh, back then, maybe if we were lucky, $20,000. Yeah. Now it's $120,000. I think it was this year, $120,000. Yeah. You know, it'll, it'll get bigger. I mean, uh, we're working on sponsorship, and uh, all the competitors come together and bring, hey, talk to this guy. You think we can do something? You know, right. we'll watch it. You, know, you don't always get it. Right. You know, you, you, know, you try. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, kudos to you, and we appreciate that yeah, all that you're doing there too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he appreciate it. He's a he does an outstanding job. Uh, he hasn't been president for quite some years just because he's a good guy. Well, there, 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 there's going to be some day though. Some day I was just going to have to do it. I don't want my boys. And it helps that my kids are in it. Yeah. You know, you know if, if they weren't any interested in it, I don't know if I'd be doing as much as I could. Right. They're, they're 100 percent. Isn't that, isn't that so cool? It is. I mean, it's something you can enjoy oh, with the boys. I was so proud of Avery well. so much. Well. You know, should be, should yeah. be. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, they were oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they both did. Yeah. They were they both yeah. They, 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 you ever argue with your brothers? No, no. <laughs> no. We don't have a chair seat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, you know, you know, we, everybody's got yeah. yeah. their own deal also. Yeah. Yeah. It, Avery's pretty easy going to go into that. Yeah. 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 Hey, there always says, "Do you want the normal head in there?" Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's always a second one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your brother and sister? I have one brother, and he's ten years older than I am. 
Okay. So actually, we get along pretty good. Um, That's a big enough gap. Yeah, it's pretty big gap, <laughs> and um, we argue, and then we'll cuss at each other, and then it's over. And so then it's fine. But um, yeah, so we actually do get along pretty good, but we just like, we have it out, and just yell it, and then we're done. Yeah. And, and then five minutes later. That's good to hear. Yeah. No, you know, we don't make her. We're kind of silent. Yeah, there may be silent. We're not going to get really excited. We're going to get excited. We're not talking to each other for a day or two. Yeah. It's like brothers, too. There's a little silent. Yeah. He was a stubborn Swiss. Oh, God, he was awesome. 100% Swiss or is it around? No, he's 100%. I don't know. I might have a little term. That's what I was asking. Yeah. 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 She probably has my mistake and everything. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, well, guys, again, uh, make some comments, you know, and uh, we'll have them on live right after this and uh, talk, talk to you guys well, with John, uh, John Jr. and uh, Amy. So, there we go. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Junior, I'm so proud of you. I've never heard you talk that much in your whole life, buddy. So. Yeah, I know. Really come out of my shell, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm going to log off. I got to get ready for the next podcast, but go as long as you want, John, if you want to keep talking. I know sometimes Greg has good stuff and sometimes he doesn't, so you decide, okay, John? So. <laughs> hey, Elsie, just text me when you're done, okay, bud? I will. Thanks. Junior, yep. thank you for your time. Good seeing you, Stranley. Yep, thank you. That how I was just going to ask you how, how much you got lined up for new stuff to do this year for people, John. Uh, not a lot of new stuff. Um, you know, just kind of uh, freshen stuff up for guys, and uh, uh, you know, kind of working on some recast head stuff for the four sixty six guys. So since you guys yeah. allowed that, so kind of dabbling in that a little bit. So how I what do you think of that rule? You think it's a pretty good rule to go with the recast head? I do. I think over time here, you know, guys, you know, I don't know if they're going to do it necessarily if they don't need one but you know i think over time they'll jump on the wagon there to you know i think longevity of a head it'll last for a long time so right right it, you know you can do it once or you know i i had one of robbie's heads for almost 12 years before i got rid I when i got rid of it, it was still good yeah yeah so i mean they should last a long time you know the initial investment's gonna be the big deal i guess so but you know, you got to look at it either by two, two stock heads or, you know, one free cast, I guess. So, right. Cause I think m most of them hot farm guys are only getting maybe two years out of them. Right. Yeah. They crack pretty easy. So whether you run water or not water. So they just, right. Is there many guys still running water in hot farm? You think I have maybe a few, you know, a few guys do, but, um, I don't know too many. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. So which heads are you, are, Whose head are you liking that you're going with right now that you're recommending for guys? Or, you know, if you don't want to see, you don't have to either. Yeah, I'm kind of working with Northwoods right now, a uh, guy in Minnesota. So he's got a pretty nice casting. So kind of working on some of that stuff. So. Okay. Okay. You got a question, John? Stranley? No, just for the fans, though, you're talking about water and not water. Um, over the years, it just seemed like once you take the water off, they more, make more horsepower, correct? Yeah, I don't know if they make more horsepower necessarily, but, uh, you know, it's hard to get one of them to seal up water, you know. Uh, you know, you got to have everything sealed up perfect. Otherwise, you get a little bit in oil and you're dealing with that. So it's almost easier to just pull it out, you know, put a little clearance in the sleeves and, you know, rudder. That's what I tell guys. So Right. Most of the water got pushed out of the block anyways every pass you made. And it, it's 12 seconds. It's not cooling anything anyways. Exactly. Exactly. They always said the, the only water you need is for the water injection. So. Right, right. You don't have to worry about leaking into your oil pan either. If, if yeah, that, that yeah, happens. they're really hard to seal up. You know, yeah, yep. I know. You just have gaskets and stuff, but it don't take much to get a little leak by, and then you get a mess. So you know what that does to the bearings? You get water in the pan. So, yep, yep. Just a bit of it all. So where are the heads cracking usually when they crack? That's that's a question I know someone asked me the one time when we were yeah, talking about on the injector where it comes out. In, in between the valves, pretty they crack really bad. Then they start cracking up the injector sleeve there. Then they leak out that area. So, yep, there you go. 
cast heads are quite a bit thicker than what the original stock heads were. <clears throat> yeah, they put more material on the floor there, so it, you know, then uh, you know they're pretty much solid instead of you know they got one little water port through them instead of you know all open inside there. So they're just for the injector bolts or more material up there for the second bolt and stuff too. So and a lot of it, the, the cracking comes from the cylinder head temperature because there's so much heat in the cylinder and it's regulated by the water injection. So that's yeah. a lot of people don't, don't really realize the amount of heat that's right there in that cylinder. You know, if you got cylinder temps at 1400 degrees, you know, outside that manifold, it's hotter than that inside the cylinder. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they weren't made for that. You know, you run 80, 85 pounds of boost too. That, that don't help it either. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Top of, yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. Yeah. The, 466 has run pretty good. So, you know, it's amazing what they can do. So with three by three, so the, the blocks seem to be holding up well in the hot farm class. In Ukraine. Yeah, you know, you don't have to do any boring for the block, you know, for the sleeve. So, you know, it's all stock block yet. So yep. seems to hold up pretty good. Yep. Yep. Well, hot farm, hot farms nowadays making more horsepower than super farms did in 2000. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they really do. You know, they'll make, Anywhere between 13, 1400 horse. So it's pretty good, pretty good power for one of them. No intercooler. So, right. How much have you ever dynoed one with an intercooler to see if it's any, how much more it would be or how much better it is? Yeah. You know, they'll make uh, 1500, a little more, 1600. So, yeah. So guys and I run oh, a pro farm out there with a cooler, 466. So, yeah. So that's uh that's getting you know right there you're almost up to what super farms are I think you're a hundred horse short short of them yeah. cubes right yeah you know and that's all cubic inch you know they can turn a little better turbo than the four sixty six could can so you know yep, yep. but that's cubic pretty so yep so I don't know I I'm out out of questions here how about you John well you said you farm so you you took over the the home farm correct. Yeah, I helped mom out with her uh, farm there, and I, me and Amy run a few acres, so, you know, enough to keep us busy, so. Between that and building engines? Yep, yep, so, got busy enough, busy as I want to be, so. Right, right. We got kids coming, though, they'll help with that. Yeah. Soon enough. What's that, Greg? You got kids on the way up, they'll, they'll, they'll help with that soon enough. I don't know if you can hear me. I can hear you, yeah. Did you hear him, John? I don't think you can hear me either. I think John went, nope. He froze up. Are you waving, John? I think there we is. can't. There he is. There you back. <laughs> yep. Greg said you had kids Kids coming up. They'll be helping you out. But about the only thing they'll help you out with is finding wrenches way over in the yeah. other side of the shop. Yeah, they'll be dropping them in the oil buckets or something. So, I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Well, well, thanks for coming on, and and uh, always great to get the inside of the pullers, and the fans get to see you know the face with the name and the name of the tractor and and who does what, and get to see your significant other and your family. And I think that's a big thing with Badger State. It's a, such a family organization, anyway. And I let the fans get to see you get to know you personally a little bit and i think they they really like that and i think that that helps out yep absolutely you know the, seems like badger state the family thing's a big deal you know everybody brings their family and kids and that's for, very good so. it is it is well john would you like to thank our sponsors for tonight yes yeah uh, trip downing also slama enterprises um front street toys for helping us out and also uh, Ed Casper Egg. So all the great sponsors that help us out, all the fans that watch us every week. We can't thank you enough and um, keep doing some shop tours and won't be too awful long. We'll be uh, in the pulling tracks. Yep, there we go. All right, Doug, John, I want to thank you for being on tonight and Amy and- uh, Yep, no problem. Uh, thank, thanks guys for everything you guys do. So thank you. Yep, thank you, John. We'll see thank you guys. Thank you very much. Take it easy. Bye. Goodbye, everybody.